you have a kayak and you're trying to figure out how you can enjoy some amazing views out on a lake and you're just not sure how to get your kayak there. Today we're going to talk about how to get your kayak there without damaging the kayak and with keeping everyone, including yourself, safe. What's up guys, welcome back or to the channel. Today we're gonna to be talking about how to get to your kayak to your paddle destination safely and without damage to make sure you can enjoy these incredible views in your paddling locations. All right guys, now that I'm heading out to the lake, I wanna show you how I load my kayak with my uh, Ram 1500. Uh, if you have a pickup truck, this is by far the easiest way um, to load your kayak, but there's kind of two different scenarios when I'm using my truck. The first one, I'm just taking it without any trailer attached. The second one, I have like a camper attached and we're going to um, some sort of campground. So I'm gonna show you how I work both of those today. If you're looking for more content like this, scroll down and smash that subscribe button, hit the notification bell, and make sure you change the settings to all notifications so you'll be notified every time I upload a video. So you can see here, essentially all we're gonna do is just slide this right into the back of the truck and I will show you how I tie it down once I get it loaded in there. Just to show you where I have this strap down at, I do have one end attached to the tie down on this side and then I have the second attached over there. When it comes to the front of the boat here, I do have that tied down to the tow hooks. It's really important that you're super careful not to over tighten ratchet straps. Um, you don't want to bend and break and wear down the hull of your boat. So make sure you're not over tightening. You should just be tightening until it's snug and then kind of making sure that it's not going to go anywhere. Based on how far back that boat comes, I wouldn't be able to pull a trailer if I had that boat attached there. Same thing if I had the tailgate up and the boat sticking out. It's actually too long because I have a 12 foot 3 inch kayak. Um, for me to attach the trailer. So I picked up another solution to that problem and it's these right here. So this is the Adirac ladder rack system. What I really liked about this is that it doesn't attach to the inside of the bed rails. It doesn't permanently screw in. Um, it actually attaches with the stake pockets that are available on the bed rail of the truck, which is pretty awesome. It still allows you to use a tonneau cover, which was really important to me. Um, and then you can easily just attach a ladder rack there. It still has a 500 pound capacity for this rack so each bar is 250 pounds for a total of 500 as long as it's evenly distributed if you're looking for the same model i have a link for that down in the description below the first part of strapping this up is i like to use cam buckle straps for this um, so i'll show you how i loop them once i have them up but this prevents you from over tightening like you would with a ratchet strap so i highly recommend in this aspect you should be using cam buckle straps now that I have the straps up there, we're just wrapping them around the crossbar over them. Once we get the kayak up there, we'll go over the kayak and it'll kind of loop around um, each of the poles on each side and that's how we'll secure it to the rack. The hardest part of this is just getting the front up. So I'll go ahead and show you how I do that by myself. And just like that, you can see I have the kayak balancing on the front there of the bar. Let's go ahead and get it the rest of the way up and strapped on. Now, if you wanted to flip it, this would be a good time to do that. You climb up in the bed and flip it over. I'm just gonna go ahead and strap it down now. And now she's strapped up. Let me just show you here what I did. So you can see it loops around the edge there. And then once you have it pulled through the buckle and pulled tight, you just want to tie a knot. And then I like to just fold up the remainder strap, tuck it up underneath here where I have a hole and then pull it down. And that'll actually bring the strap a little tighter as well, which will be good for you. This is the first part to a three part series about how to get your kayak to the lake. If you want to continue to follow along, scroll down there, hit subscribe, make sure you turn notifications on. Like this video if you got value out of it and I'll see you in the next one.